So Lyle Fitzsimmons says Deontay Wilder is still not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> oh, you are the next contestant on the Summer Jam screen. Let's talk. <laughs> Push the weight, you know, flex, flex, the live is one in the six, yeah, fit the runner boy, you niggas, no question, you ain't run a motherfucker high stepping, hey, you never had a big enough weapon, hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson, yeah, I'm an 88 pack nigga, boof, I'm an 88 pack nigga, boof, I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out, full moon, motherfucker, change like a hoe, I'm just a nigga from the hood, trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on deck, shout out to the mighty L-D-B-C. Um, I tried to ignore this, but um, got a call from my brother Tay Jones. He asked me if I read this. I said no, and we got to talking. I said, you know what? Let me go read this. And as expected, I read it, and I got enraged. And then I calmed down, and I said, you know what? This is actually typical. What am I getting angry for? This is what they do, and this is the type of person that does it. Those are the people that do it. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of old media, these are the type of faces that do this. Two things that they do. They First of all, they look like this. And the other thing that they do is that they enlist, quote unquote, us, They, they, look, 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 look. Y'all see what's going on in ESPN, right? With that woman, right? Yeah. Put two and two together. They're running to get a female, a black female. You know, in this Me Too movement, in this, this, this age of, you know, I'm a woman, hear me roar. They got everybody leaning against men, black men in particular. So it'd be a person looking like this you know, uh, 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 signing up someone that has a fake struggle. Yeah, I'm going there. Yeah, I'm going there. So black athletes, we getting it from all directions. And I want you to look at this fool's face because these are the people that write these negative articles about us. And I'm talking about black athletes. As great as we are, as much as we overcome, as much as we do, you still get motherfuckers like this. That'll discredit, disrespect, and degrade everything that we do. And completely, when I say we, I mean we, they undermine the support, the fan base. Now this shock the con ball headed mouth looking dude wrote an article. It's in boxing scene. So we're gonna go through it. I would say go through it with a fine comb, but this bastard's bald. This dude is disgusting. It says, uh, welcome back. Look, the, the title of this is condescending. Welcome back, Deontay, but you're still not a Hall of Famer by Lyle Fitzsimmons. Welcome back. You're not welcoming him back. You didn't want him back. So the title in itself is condescending. All right, boxing scene, this is what you do. Okay, so let's read it. Deontay Wilder is fighting this weekend. But if, but it's okay if you hadn't heard. Right, right off the bat, just disrespectful. It's okay if you hadn't heard. Meaning, if you didn't know, it's all right. Now watch what he says. After all, it's on the same night as the lightweight title rematch between Devin Haney and George Cambozo, a fight that's gotten and deserves more attention. Hey, asshole. There's also something else happening. Clarissa Shields is fighting on the same night. You didn't mention that, did you? That deserves more attention also. Quick question, Lyle, since we're on the topic, since, I'm, since I'm, I'm playing the race card, Lyle, you fucking asshole. Why haven't you mentioned Clarissa Shields? I'm just wondering, did you do an article on her? I don't know. Did you do an article on her? 
we were talking up the Devin Haney, the first fight. We was talking that up. How many articles you wrote about that? Did you say that that needs more shine? Listen, where the heavyweight champion goes or the people's champion goes, so does so does boxing. The heavyweights is where it's at. I'm going to tell you why you're mad. And by the way, it's no coincidence that Clarissa Shields, and Deontay Wilder, and Devin Haney is fighting on the same goddamn night. These fools will turn right around and say, oh, Devin ain't got no fans. No one saw him. They couldn't push this fight to the next week. They didn't do it. Clarissa Shields, her fight got postponed because the queen died. They couldn't make it next week or the week after that. Or the week passed, the week that just passed. Last Saturday, they couldn't do that. This is not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. They're trying to divide our fan base. And then we're going to be so divided where they think we are. They think we're going to be so divided. They're going to blame lack of numbers. Whoever does the least no amount of numbers, they're going to say, oh, they, 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 these black fighters don't sell. Nobody wants to pay them any mind. They undermined our support. They threw three of our top stars on the same fucking night. I hope y'all see the play. But I got a trick for their ass. Not only am I attending the Wilder Hell in this fight, I'm also purchasing the pay-per-view for two different homes. And I will be finding a way to, find, to, to watch the Devin Haney fight and the Shields fight. All in the same night. Y'all can't stop my support. But anyway, back to this article. It'll be Wilder's... Listen to what he says, y'all. Watch, watch this. The link will be in the description. It'll be Wilder's first appearance since he was whacked by Tyson Fury a year ago. And the first time he's performed without the uh, green belt uh, at stake since the Obama administration. Two things. This guy is a professional uh, journalist, right? Why is he referring to the American champion getting whacked by Tyson Fury a year ago? That's an interesting choice of words, Fitzsimmons. The other thing I notice is first time he performed without a green belt that state since the Obama administration. Why are you using Obama's name in this? Really? Yeah, tell us who you are, you bald headed peanut. So already you're writing and who you're writing about and I'm looking at your picture. Everything makes sense. He goes on to say he's 0-2-1 with a pair of stoppages against Fury. 42-0 uh, with 41 KOs against everyone else, which isn't exactly good news for Robin Hellenist. So here he goes. He's going to discredit Robin Hellenist. The thrice beaten Scandinavian giant in the opposite corner who couldn't go to distance with Dubois. Uh, with, with uh, uh, what do you say, with Johan Dupas or, or, or Gerald Washington? <laughs> this guy, Duhapis finished him in six in 2016. Washington got him in eight three years later. Incidentally, while the KO both men in the WBC title fights over a combined 16 rounds. So by the time Saturday night comes, Saturday night becomes Sunday morning. It's pretty good. It's it, it's a uh, pretty good bet that bronze bomber installed as a uh, prohibitive 800 pick by the guys at DraftKings. Will, so he, he looked this up y'all we have uh ticked up the scores i'm sorry ticked up the record and polished up his image with a highlight real ko that'll resemble a toppling redwood so he's picking deontay to knock uh helen us out and in the aftermath it, watch this y'all in the aftermath hmm h m m m m he says, in the aftermath, hmm, let's guess that he'll thump his chest and yell bomb squad a couple of times and immediately predict the demise of the nearest belt holder who is, uh, who's not six foot nine and 270 pounds. So he's saying he's going to call out Lucy. So what he said, right, what he said right here, that, he, that he's going to knock him out, bang on his chest. And I'm just envisioning this 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 uh, Pecklewood rolling his eyes. Oh, hum, let me guess. He's gonna bang on his chest and your bum squad a couple of times, and immediately uh, uh, call out Usyk. And he's not gonna call out Fury again. Listen, fuck boy, you ball headed peanut, fuck boy. 
You look like the goddamn mascot on the front of the planter's peanuts uh, jar. Mr. Planet. He already said he'd fight Fury a fourth time. You bastard sinner. You're not paying attention. You know that. You heard it. You're a journalist. Right? But your job is to put out bullshit. Your job is to put out what you see uh, uh, beneficial to you. He already called out that six foot nine, 270 pound cokehead, drug cheat, drug abuser, cheater. He goes on to say it'll make a good Fox PBC television, but in the grand scheme, it won't mean much. Boxing scene, you guys are on shaky legs with this. I swear to God, you are. He's not the best heavyweight in the world based on the results against Fury. In fact, he's probably not even second best in the world on the recent accomplishments of ex cruiserweight king Alexander Usyk. And despite what he's claimed in, in the Hellenist run up, he's certainly not an immortal either. You know, before I go any further, I wonder how many articles this uh, uh, piece of shit Peckerwood wrote about failed drug tests, about a ban list, about, uh, I don't know, Savannah Marsh should not be able to fly over here, about how George Cambozo prevented half of Devin Haney's team coming to Australia. I wonder what he wrote. Y'all find Y'all let me know. Did he write anything in defense of American black fighters? That's what I want to know. This is what I want to know. So he goes on to quote what Deontay said uh, uh, to boxing scene. All right, you know, I'm over, I'm, in a, I'm a Hall of Famer right now. Um, you know, y'all ready. He says he's absolutely right, but he's also very wrong. He said, given the iffy nature of someone who's cleared the 20, 20 someone who's been cleared for 21st century takeoff into the central New York uh, Mecca, Gaddy, Kwawi, Chacon, and McGuigan, among them, I concede it's a 2022 reality that Wilder will indeed be a first ballot inductee whether his name, whenever his name is on the ballot. The 10 defenses and spectacular KO rate will uh, be ample uh, rationale for the yes votes, dismissing that he was twice split. Look, look, look what he says. Dismissing that he was twice splattered by the only champion he met. Look at what he said. Splattered. Whacked and splattered. Already you have a fuck dude writing about a champion that he does not like. Okay. This is an American talking about your American champion who lost to a fucking cheater. And I dare this piece of shit to tell me that Tyson Fury is not a goddamn cheater. The only champion he met. Watch, watch this, y'all. He, then he says, other than ben, Bermain Stavern, that is, and a few other challengers arrived with anything resembling a legitimate title shot pedigree. He never mentioned King Kong Ortiz and how difficult that was and how everyone ducked him, but never mind that. But in line with what 2022 reality uh, is uh, that it is what it is and, and I'm okay with it. Man, I'm so angry with this. Though barely past a half century myself, I'm fully aware of, of my undisputed dinosaur stats when it comes to uh, Hall, of, uh, Hall of Fame voting criteria, which in its simplest terms goes like this. Was the fighter among the best in his peer group of the prolonged stretch of time not a one-year star or a popular guy who got TV time solely due to persona or style. Cough, cough. Look, look, he's being a smart ass in this. But one of those guys for at least a handful of years who were on a short list of the best fighters in the world. If the answer is yes, I think Mayweather and Pacquiao, he's got my vote. If the answer is no, think Butterbean and Kardashian, he got my apologies. This guy really thinks he's being funny. This guy really thinks he's, he's being funny. Please be in Brooklyn. I have questions, dude. Please be in Brooklyn. I have questions, dude. Please be in Brooklyn. I have questions, dude. I would like to see you Saturday. 
Mr. Fitzsimmons. I have questions, dude. I have questions. He says, Wilder, though perhaps not uh, to the degree of example cited, deserves a hard no. He gets points as a stat compiler. Wow. And an extra nudge thanks to Olympic medal uh, street cred. Okay, so um, he's, 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 uh, what he's doing is what I accuse Canelo of doing. Legacy padding. He's saying he's compiling his stats. He's saying Deontay's compiling his stats. And the fact that he's a bronze medalist gives him some street cred. Get it right, you bald-headed peanut. You piece of shit. He won bronze. And he was the only boxer that got a medal that year. You piece of shit. He goes on to say, but unless my hurricane adult mind is failing, two weeks without electricity will do that to a guy. Believe me, I don't recall many suggesting even at uh, the peak of his powers that he was any more an all-time great, simply the pick of a historically and glorious heavyweight hit uh, litter. All right, here we go. At no point during his reign did he even make the ring's year-end pound-for-pound top 10. All right, you piece of shit. I went over ESPN's pound-for-pound pound top 10, and I went over Ring Magazine's top 10. Both of them are full of shit. That's number one. If you talk about pound-for-pound pound top 10, you stupid motherfucker. Heavyweights aren't supposed to be on them. But since in this new era, you put them on there, fine. Now watch this, y'all. And we're going to go back to this top 10, but watch this. He goes on to say his most dedicated fan couldn't rank him better than fourth, trailing Lennox Lewis, Vladimir Klitschko, and Fury among the division's title claimants since 2000. And uh, uh, the less are might even concede the trouble he'd meet with the likes of Usyk, Vitaly Klitschko, even Anthony Joshua. Let's stop right there. He mentioned Anthony Joshua. Um, Anthony Joshua wasn't on those lists either. He was like runner up. And you know what? If he was, he wasn't ranked high. He wasn't ranked high. He got like an honorable mention, like Deontay got an honorable mention. But when the official list went up, I don't recall Anthony being on there like that. He might have been on one. Now, you said you mentioned Vladimir Klitschko, dumbass. Vladimir ducked him, dumbass. You want to talk about Fury? Talk about why he can't fly his fat ass over here. Talk about what's going on now with Conor Ben and all this shit. It's all coming out that this guy's a fucking cheater. Just give it a minute. Talk about that long count from Jack Reese. Talk about deflated gloves and poison water. And I dare you to tell me that shit is just hearsay. Talk about how he postponed the third fight in July, and then, then we get it in October, and he's getting injections in his elbow, allegedly, and leaving the country and coming back. And he knocks the shit out of Usyk, my opinion. I don't give a fuck what you say. Y'all go ahead and read this bullshit. He's talking about if he, uh, uh, in an era where, uh, a golden era, uh, um, if he was in the 90s with Bo and Holyfield and in the 80s with Holmes, uh, it wouldn't be a, the conversation wouldn't have been, it would have been over a long time ago. Let me explain something to you, you piece of shit. Oh my God, please, dude. Now I know who you are. I got your face. If I see you in Brooklyn, we are going to have a conversation, dude. We're in the era, we're in the, the era of technology. Everyone has smartphones. We got high-powered computers in our pockets. There's no excuse to be stupid. To be stupid and disrespectful is a choice. You're doing all kinds of shit by referring to him getting whacked. And what else you said? Would you say whacked and, 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 and would you say stretched? What the fuck you say? This is what a professional writes? Huh? Man, if it's not blatant right now that Deontay Wilder 
He's more disrespected than Larry Holmes in his prime. This guy's being a smart ass in this whole goddamn article. Cough, cough. Hmm. Do you see why the LDBC is important? You see why? Somebody gave this guy a job. And he puts this out. Now, look, look splattered, whacked. This is what old media puts out, y'all. I'll put the link in the description. You tell me if he's be so condescending from the title of this to the language he's using. Deontay Wilder is indeed a Hall of Famer. What are you talking about? He mentioned Gaddy and Kwawi. Gaddy's a Hall of Famer? How many times he got his ass beat? But you celebrated him. I bet you didn't miss a Gaddy fight. You're not factoring in the motherfuckers that ducked him. And Anthony Joshua still ducking him. You don't mention that he had to fight Ortiz twice. And everyone was ducking him. You don't mention that he was halfway to Russia when Alexander Povetkin popped dirty. You don't mention that Dillian White was being a bitch the whole time. Question. Fitzsimmons. You putting Fury on a pedestal. How are you giving Fury credit for a guy that you don't give any credit to? Okay, he beat Vladimir Klitschko. What else he's done? So did AJ. And AJ knocked him out. You give AJ credit for that? I saw you put AJ in this article. AJ, man, Deontay was giving him so much to fight that guy and still didn't do it. Once again, y'all, this is your American former heavyweight champion. Look at how he's treated. And look at the guy doing it. Look at this guy. This is the guy doing it. These are the motherfuckers we rely on to talk about us. And they do sneaky shit. They hire guys like, you know, they throw, they put love, the powers that be put love in the pockets of guys like Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem here with Tyson Fury and John Fury. Eat a dick. It's fucking ridiculous. This fucking Peckerwood just sat here and wrote a, a, the most disrespectful article. The heavyweight division as a whole. You know Deontay Wilder's a threat. Wilder's a threat. Nobody in old media talks about what this man overcame. But they'll tell you everything about Tyson Fury. And he, he, he overcame addiction and depression. He's not a Hall of Famer, but Fury, what? I bet you you say he is. When we say these motherfuckers are on cold, boy, don't you dare tell us we lying. Don't you dare tell us we lying. He sees fury in him. He identifies with fury. He's a foreigner. But he'll pick fury 100 times over Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder don't need a green card to be here. Neither does this piece of shit right here. Please be, please be in Brooklyn. I got questions, dogs. Do not run from me like fat ass Dan Raphael wobbled his fat ass away from me. Do it. Stand your ass right there. I'm going to put the video up. And we're going to have a conversation about this article. And we're going to verbally go blow for blow. In fact, you were invited to the strong house. Stand on it. I'm telling you straight up and down. I don't fucking like you. I don't fucking trust you. But we can have a conversation. Family. These are the people that we rely on to judge us on what we do in our respective crafts that we make millions of dollars at. Not me per se, but I'm talking about the black athletes. 
and you run around and get these black women working for ESPN, ESPN, y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all throw her a bone and say, yeah, man, you know, just give these niggas a hard time. They don't like women anyway. Get her all wound up. Agent for white supremacy. This is what it is. It's all connected. I haven't done the research. Y'all find the article where he talked up a black fighter. Find him, please. Not an article where he's just talking about a fight they got coming up. Find an article where he's talking up a fighter. I'm wondering, did he say anything about what George Cambozo tried to do to Devin Haney? Did he say anything about the failed drug test of Tyson Fury? About him eating pig dick? Him and his cousin? Did he say anything about his cousin Huggy Fury bailing out on Michael Hunter again? What is he doing? Is he just reporting it? Or is he giving his personal opinion on these fighters like he just did to Deontay? Because what he did in this article was give an opinion. He didn't state facts. Well, the fact is, Deontay Wilder will be in the Hall of Fame. But who the fuck asked you for your goddamn opinion? Funny how he's doing it on a week where he has a fight coming up. No one asked your fucking opinion, stupid. This is old media, y'all. No one asked your stupid ass opinion. Get some goddamn braces. Stupid ass. This motherfucker will leave a bite mark in the side of an apple. Look like a goddamn vampire bit the shit. This he leave a bite mark on the side of an apple look like the goddamn bat signal. da 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 Batman. I'm done with this fool. I hope I see you in Brooklyn. I have questions. Bronx on motherfucking deck.